Welcome to King's Quest 3. The kitchen floor is filthy. Sweep it now. If you don't read that, you're screwed. It's always random, I believe. Alright, this is my favorite uh, King's Quest game actually, King's Quest 3. Uh, it's like, I don't know, like it immediately doesn't really, you don't you don't know how it exactly ties into the story before, but it does, trust me. Um, so yeah, I'm going over to the kitchen, uh, and this, the kitchen's through that door. Uh, you get the cup, there's a spoon, knife, a uh, bowl, some, all the food you could get here. The food is basically your time limit. Every time, after now, every time uh, Menanan returns, <coughs> he'll want some food. And you basically have until your food supply runs out. If you, if your food supply runs out, then you're pretty much screwed because then you can't finish his commands and you get killed by him because, I don't know, he turns you into a slug, which is kind of a horrible fate. Not a snail. <laughs> Gwydion's mopping really fast. I almost called him Graham. But he's ten times cooler than Graham. Yeah. Definitely. So, anyway, um, Right here, I'm about to just wander around the house. I've pretty much got all. I I think I got everything that I need to get at this point. Uh, the other stuff, man and Ann, like uh, there's a bunch of stuff I can get, but Nan and Ann will turn me into a snail if he finds me with them. So don't want to do that. Well, I don't know if he always turns you into a snail. He can turn me into a snail when he caught me doing something bad. So I'm just assuming he always does. Here's a little Easter egg. I like it, it's kind of funny. <laughs> Presently have your hands full when you're with King's Quest 3. Yeah. Your that's your room, it's kind of shaggy. There's his room, it's kind of... luxurious. 
And that's the cat. And the cat is, I don't know, some... I believe Mananan turned one of his rivals into a cat at one point. Which is somewhat ironic. It is a constant annoyance. Candles. Yeah. Everyone loves candles. Man. So anyway, as long as Mananan is around the house, you basically can't do anything. He won't let you go off the mountain. He won't. He'll just sort of hang and, you know, you're screwed and in trouble. So you just, I just sort of wander around because I, I mean, it's possible to go around and like get stuff and as long as he doesn't catch you doing anything bad, as long as even if he's still there, then you can do stuff that's bad, but, you know, I'm kind of, well, I don't know, I don't, I, I'm not that brave. So I just wander up and down the stairs, wish I had a diagonal key, etc, etc. This game is so epic though. I love Gwydion too. I mean, who does it wouldn't like Gwydion? He can use magic, or he can't use magic now, but by the end of the game he'll be able to use magic, so... Magic plus ga video games equals awesome. Especially when you get to make it yourself. To play this game you'll need a manual. You need the manual because it tells you how to make the magic and if you don't know how to make the magic you just can't make the magic it's not possible it would be def more difficult than guessing the gnome's name like if um, there was a scale of difficulty it would be an unfair scale but like let's say you had a scale of difficulty with the gnome's name being at one for easiest guessing the gnome's name on the first try for example one would for, would be like one for easiest, and then doing them all those spells without a manual would be on four thousand because it's so bloody hard. But luckily, they have the directions in the manual, which makes it quite a lot easier. As you'll see in part three. Out of my way, Gideon! What a bastard! Uh oh, it's him again. That was such a ripoff. I was hoping he would go on a journey or something, but no, he just came in and to tell me to get out of his way. Uh, wh how was I in his way? He teleports. He doesn't walk like a normal person. <sighs> what a creepy old wizard. Man. So yeah, this first little bit is kind of boring, because... Oh! Woodian again. I mean, Mananan again. I've decided to take a journey. His journeys last exactly, to, well, pretty much 25 minutes, so that's how much time you have. So I imme immediately spring into action. Grab the wizard's hand mirror. And I got a hand mirror. I'm pretty quick with this game because I love it so much, so I pretty much know exactly what to do. Exactly where all the items are and stuff, and the world isn't quite so big as Daventry and Kalima. So, once I get to the world, right now I'm just in a house which is even smaller. So yeah, there's four items in the uh, man and Ant's house. A brass key. See that thing on the left? That's a chamber pot. Ugh, chamber pots. You don't get a chamber pot, actually. I just thought about that now. Man and Ant has a chamber pot. You have nothing. Where the heck do you go to the bathroom? Oh well. See you in part two. This is a really boring part, but next part, I trust me, we'll have lots. See ya.